Smart manufacturing was one of the central themes here at Huawei's Global Mobile Broadband Forum. Robots, logistics devices and other automation solutions were shown here on the show floor. With 5G still in development, many solutions are already being deployed using existing network technologies. So the first revolution which we have driven is uh, the sensitive robotics which are able to collaborate with humans um, and which can do very dexterous tasks like compliant motion where you have where you feel forces, where you where you have contact uh, with the part, where you assemble tiny parts. This is one uh, important revolution. The second revolution is about mobile robots. So you do not have longer just stationary robots, but you have moving robots which can move to different parts of the of the production, uh, which can move parts um, and so on. And then in the in the next revolution, this will be a revolution about perception, about using sensors, understanding the environment and get more autonomous. So, so this, will be, this will be the next steps. But with 5G on the horizon, there is plenty of talk about how the technology will benefit the smart manufacturing space. Think of uh, you know, zero defect, you know, aeronautical you know, engineering, consumer electronics, shipbuilding. They're already doing this and they're just going to make better use of the cloud, the kind of much higher bandwidth, much lower latency, much more resilience, and they're going to do more adventurous and interesting things inside the factory. They're going to have potentially much more connected supply chains with much more control over the end-to-end -end product from design all the way through to maintenance and support because they could have immersive experiences with and interactive experiences with people who are not in the factory but a part of their supply chain with VR and AR. They're going to be able to realise their desire in a lot of cases to have more post-manufacturing services by having lots of sensors and kind of capability to predict when maintenance is required and offer that back as a service to their customer and they're going to have much greater ability to remotely monitor um, uh, and diagnose faults. And we see that 5G with wireless connectivity, with things like edge computing, with things like network slicing, can really lift Industry 4.0 to the next level. So we can make things much, much better than with a wired connectivity that we have in place today. I think there needs to be a close interaction between the classical industrial domain and the telecom world, starting with establishing a common terminology. So we often use the same words, the same vocabulary, but with different things in mind. So if we are asked as a manufacturing industry, for example, what would we expect from a 5G system regarding latency, data rate, and so on, of course we can give answers, but maybe we have a different understanding of a latency than the telecom world, at least this is our observation. And therefore there really needs a close discussion, a close interaction between the different worlds in order to establish the common understanding, and based on top of that we can then build hopefully very good solutions to make this uh, a success in the future. So that wraps up our coverage of smart manufacturing here at Huawei's Global Mobile Broadband Forum. I'm Steve Costello for Mobile World Live.